that new car purchase what are some of the things that you must consider when buying your new car today we want to take a look at some of the loan options which might be important to you when trying to purchase your new vehicle i'm your host daniel dakers and this is the real deal so i know for many of us purchasing a new car is one of the greatest feelings in this world that new car scent however you may want to look at some options such as purchasing your new car by taking a loan so what we have put together today is just doing some comparisons of in of terms in terms of the years four years seven years and no more recently we see more and more financial institutions offering 10-year loans so we took a typical cost of 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 cars in the five million dollar bracket yes you can get cars for less but this is where the mid-range small suv type vehicles such as your mitsubishi asx your subaru xv uh, your nissan kashkai would be in this particular range as well as some other medium-sized sedans so as you can see from the table, using an interest rate of 8.25%, the, if you paid over a four-year period, your monthly payment would be 122,652 versus 78,000 and 61,000 as you increase the payment term. However, as you can see in the reverse, you actually you pay less interest if you pay off your loan quicker versus a smaller monthly payment in the in the short term but in the long term you're to hold the vehicle for 10 years you pay more in interest now i know most persons don't keep cars typically for 10 years but most people will take advantage of the 10-year loan because of the lower monthly payments however we at the, here at The Real Deal will advise such persons that although you may be selling your car at say the five year mark when this is typically when the v, most vehicle warranties are up, somewhere between three to five years, when you're looking to resell your vehicle based on what's happening in the market, you may find that you, you don't get the value that you're looking for as the market is now currently saturated with a lot of vehicles so persons have a lot of options so market values have been absolutely depressed on cars over the last two to three years so that's something you must take into consideration however my advice would be of course one always buy a vehicle that you can afford as you have to take into consideration other things such as insurance and running costs for the vehicle which we will be looking on in future episodes what are the typical running costs maintenance costs for um, particular vehicles so is just keep it in mind that the shorter the term yes the monthly payments are higher but your total interest payments are less so that's something you need to keep in mind when purchasing your new vehicle thank you